usually looking at weather models, even on my days off. So if there's any kind of active weather, I might storm chase every once in a while. Okay. Yeah. Oh. We talked off set several times about hiking. Uh, tell me what your favorite place was that you hiked in back in the Black Hills. Um, probably Black Elk Peak. It's the highest point east of the Rockies. Um, all the way to the Pyrenees over in Spain. It's about 7,200 feet. I have some of those pictures on my Instagram of that peak. It's very high up, and with how dry it is, uh, it's it's also quite a trek to get up those about six miles of hiking uh, in total. But, yeah, here I'm not going to be seeing quite as much of an elevation change or moisture, or just to say lack of moisture. We have more moisture here. But, uh, yeah, so... That was my favorite hike, probably, in the Black Hills. Also, they had the Badlands, too, hiking that uh, often, whenever I could. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Badlands is such a beautiful place. And we've been kind of talking about hiking spots. I've been giving some ideas of some places around here. You're definitely going to love it around here, how much hiking we have across the region. Now, one last question for you. How can people get in contact with you? Yeah, uh, I'm very active on social media, as well as checking my email frequently. You can follow my Facebook page, uh, Ethan Emery dash uh, meteorologist at 13 news also twitter and instagram at ethan emery wx you can also email me at ethan.emery at wbko.com and ethan we're so excited to welcome you here to the wbko family and to south central kentucky now folks stick around because ethan is going to be bringing you your seven day forecast right when we come back Boost Alert Weather, sponsored by Vet Center Health. Kentucky. We have a gorgeous start to the end of the week. However, we're seeing more muggy air returning across southern Kentucky. Along with that muggy air, we're seeing more moisture, which will give us more thunderstorm development for this weekend. Also, at the start of next week, we'll keep an eye on that as we get closer uh, to the end of the week. Our live weather camera on Scottsville Road, you can see a gorgeous day so far. Some clear skies, a few high, thin clouds, but nothing to worry about other than that. It's currently 64 at the airport in Bowling Green. Winds are calm, and it it feels like 64 degrees with that humidity up at 87 percent temperatures elsewhere across south central kentucky we have the low 60s for many 60 over in munfordville also 57 degrees over in burksville 60 at bowling green a little more mild air though off towards the west we have the upper 60s in madisonville down into Hopkinsville as well. And with that warmer air, also more muggy air with those dew points into the mid-60s. That moisture in the air definitely beginning to return across Kentucky. And the next five days, that muggy meter, it's going way up. We're going to be seeing that muggy air, even almost oppressive at times as we head into Sunday as well as into Monday. Today, a little sticky, though, not as bad. So if you don't like the muggy weather, enjoy today before things get really sticky in and around Kentucky. Double Max HD, nothing happening across the region. A few high, thin clouds, though, between Munferville and Bowling Green down at Tompkins, or Tompkinsville. Excuse me. And regional <laughs> temperatures now into the mid-60s, but off towards the west, upper 70s from St. Louis down to mm -hmm. uh, Cape Gurudu. And you can see... The Cape Gur... Did you just hear that? Cape Gurudu. We have a warm sector. That brings in more moisture, also that warmer air. And that will definitely bring in that? some of that uh, moisture for the weekend to spark those thunderstorms across the area. Burksville, some right now, currently 7 degrees. Tompkinsville, 60, a nice shot there with clear skies. And Glasgow, also clear skies with a current temperature of 63 degrees. Future Max today, we're seeing mostly sunny skies for the morning, but the afternoon, partly sunny skies. A few storms possible along the state line going into Tennessee, but most of us should remain dry this afternoon. And at least several in forecast sponsored by Kentucky Lottery. Highs going into the mid. I told you he'd mess it up. Burksville, 89 degrees. That seven day forecast, you can see those temperatures do get to 90 for today. Saturday and Sunday, the mid 80s, though, with uh, some thunderstorms, 40% chance on Saturday, 70% on Sunday. And then by Monday, we're seeing more storms with those highs still into the mid 80s. Laura? All right. Thank you, Ethan. And as we are learning more this morning about state guidelines for schools reopening in the fall, Warren County Public Schools says similar information had been shared with them over the past few weeks. So with that, they've been able to start formulating plans for the next school year. Warren County will offer the option for students.